Hi guys, Tom from Aotearo Gaming. Today we're going to take a look at my personal uh, rig and also my desk setup. So first off, we have a SyncMaster TA950D, which is a 3D 1080p monitor, followed by an MX Master mouse, which has amazing battery life, paired with a Rocket RGB keyboard. For audio, we have a set of Logitech Z623s, uh, which is a 2.1 audio uh, system, and Razer Kraken Pro headphones. Uh, moving to the PC itself, we start off with an Intel Core i7-980, which is a 6-core 12-thread processor, which comes stock uh, at 3.3 GHz, uh, which we've overclocked to 4 GHz. Uh, the motherboard is a Gigabyte GA-X58A UD3R. As far as RAM goes, we have 12 GB of Corsair Dominator 1600 MHz RAM, then two GTX 980s and SLI, uh, a Silverstone 1200-watt power supply, a Mushkin 240 gigabyte solid state drive as the operating system drive. As far as storage, we have two 750 gigabyte Seagate two and a half inch hard disk drives. Now onto the cooling guys. For the CPU, we have a Corsair H80i GT. For the graphics cards, we have some XSPC water blocks hooked up to a custom loop with a dual bay res pump combo two 240 millimeter radiators, one in the front, one at the bottom, one 280 millimeter radiator in the top, all fit into a Corsair 750D case. Now moving on to some uh, overclocking guys, so we achieved a 4 GHz stable on the processor for a 24-7 setup. Um, so basically how we achieved this, we just bumped up the base clock uh, and matched the RAM multiplier to that. Uh, so we're running on stock voltages and we're seeing temperatures fluctuating between 40 and 60 degrees when under full load. Um, I haven't overclocked the graphics cards yet, still waiting on some things, uh, but we'll see how it goes.
Moving on to some heaven and valley benchmarks, we can see a substantial difference from the media PC I built in the other video on the channel. Uh, and to finish off, I'll put some Fire Strike Extreme results on there, where we can see a result above a PC running some more recent CPU hardware and motherboard as well. So we can see that the Inter Core i7 980, even though it is aged, is still keeping up to date with even more recent CPUs in terms of power. Uh, so thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments section. And also don't forget to like and subscribe.